Fan, han är för slött. Hello people, guess who's back? Guess who's back? I'm back again. I'm gonna do a, a quick series now. I'm gonna try to downpick like James Hetfield in, is it three days maybe? Until Christmas, <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work because I suck at downpicking. My weapon of choice is a Gibson. Let's see if you can see it in the camera. A Gibson Explorer. It's my sister's uh, brother. No. <laughs> Not my sister, not my my girlfriend's brother. That could have been a little bit too wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. SWAT, don't invade me, okay? Um, this a Gibson Explorer uh, and a Line Six amp. I don't know what amp it is. I'm gonna show you on the camera later. Yeah, so I don't have the Helix today because I'm on Christmas holiday. And as I said, I'm gonna try to downpick as uh, James Hetfield. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna go because I suck at it. Yeah, I know a little bit of the Master of Puppets when I, when I was a kid, you know. I tried to learn it, but I could manage. I, I will show you now yeah, just how I, I am in the beginning state of downpicking, okay? <laughs> I get tense straight away. I can't do it. So it, it, I, I have always done this when I, I've played it in like guitar stores and stuff. Uh, like this. But people don't like that when you play alternate. So I think uh, now is the time. Now is the time to learn it. So I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos, how to downpick, I have one here from Gentbeard. <laughs> how to downpick down like James Hetfield. Help you because you will downpick and I see this not only with beginning guitarists, also experienced guitarists, they will start downpicking and you see how the wrist is like all relaxed and then they'll go up to speed and that wrist just stiffens up. Yeah. And they're like... He talks about that when with, with the experience and the beginners when you start to down pick you're relaxed but then when you start to move faster your arm tends up and i can really i can um, relate to that and learn your favorite songs i say this in almost every video yeah if you most of puppets to play and it will be easy to keep going but if you're going faster notice how my hand starts Metallica song here and just practice that, right? Like, you know, I don't know, Creeping Death or Master. So, I think I need to practice slow with a metronome. They say it all the time, so. And I heard someone say bounce on the string as well. If you bounce. straight away, but I, I do it too fast, I think. I don't know how I'm gonna pull this off. I don't know. And now I can't use a metronome because I have no Wi-Fi. the metronome. So I'm gonna try 120 first and see if I can do it. I think this is too slow for me. I don't get anything of this. So I'm on the metronome on Google and I can <laughs> Oh, it's a nightmare. What is this? Why can't I use it? I'm gonna try on my phone if I have. I don't know. I don't think I have a metronome. <laughs> 140.
too slow as well. 170. So now I'm starting to get tired. So when it's 170, I get tired almost like not straight away, but pretty quick. So <laughs> that's maybe a little bit too high, but I think, as I said, you can't really, I, I don't know if you can, because I usually have my palm here when I play. What the fuck? Now it started on the iPad. <laughs> so I usually have my palm li like this, like with the fingers here, but maybe I should just tuck my thing fingers in. Because then it's less resistance, I think. Yeah, let's see, I, I, I'm gonna change camera views, maybe you can see my picking hand too. So like that, I think. So my hand looks like this when I play. And you know, it's, it's let's see if, <laughs> if you can see me. It's different to practice, just practice this practice to a song so I think I'm gonna try to practice to a song as well I'm gonna practice both so both like this and because then you have all the accents and stuff that you need but it looks like this sorry for <laughs> I always go into different stuff uh, so my hand looks like this That's a quite comfortable, uh, uh, what to say, comfortable tempo for me, personally. So, let's see here. Uh, I will be in touch soon and we'll see how far I've come. So I'm back again and I have come to a realization with the, with the, what do you say, with the jumping on the string, so to speak. This guy, the, you know, the guitar teacher. I can't, I don't know what his name is. But look at his right hand. He does like the jumping thing. Let's see if I can, <coughs> if I can do it myself. So I need to be a lot more aggressive when I do the fast stuff. And you, I, I, I know what I mean now with the jumping. You know, it's like, because when you do it slow, it's almost like, and you want to do it like that, but then you tense up. So it's better to have almost like more motion than you think. So yeah, <laughs> I get back to you soon. Disclaimer, sorry if this is gonna be boring, but, <laughs> but you know, I just wanted to make this video. So because elsewhere I'm not ever gonna learn the down picking stuff. Uh, yeah, so I can keep up with it. On, I, I have a guy here on YouTube, Lamb Shopper 678. <laughs> uh, I've seen him before. He, he does like the, the tone breakdowns and stuff, I think. He's great. Uh, and I can keep up if I do it in 75% uh, tempo on YouTube. It is, I think. Let's see here. <laughs> So that, that feels pretty easy, but I think I need to download the app or something so I can take the song down, song down to like 90% or something. That would be great. So that's just a heads up for <laughs> next video. Now I've been practicing for, is it one and a half hours or something? Uh, what to say, från och till in Swedish, <laughs> you know, on and on, on and off. <laughs> so I've been practicing on and off for like one and a half hours. Uh, and I think I've got somewhere, but I think that's mostly because I'm, you know, warmed up in my right arm or something, but it's still very hard, but it sounds something like this now. Um. 
maybe I need to raise the volume. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard, but I don't get super tense. But I, I can, you, I can feel it. But I, I, I try to apply that stuff now when I try to bounce, and I all, also try to go out instead of down. I'm gonna show you. I saw like Ben. The his name is Ben something, uh, like the something professor. You, you all know who he is. Uh, he showed me. Let's see if you can see. I'm gonna try to do the wait one second. So hopefully you're gonna see this. Instead of going down, you're going like almost out because if you go down, you need almost to go. It's it's a longer way to go up, or if you go down, or uh, oh, it's hard to explain in English. <laughs> It's hard to explain on Swedish as well, but it's it's a longer way to travel for the pick if you go straight down instead of you go a little bit if you angle it a little bit out so to speak. Because if you just go down, you just tense your arm like yeah. So so let's see if yeah I'm gonna try from this angle as well to play a little bit and see if you can if I or and you can see the difference here. So there I try to go like a little bit out. Uh, so I'm gonna try to just go down now. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. So I think that's the better choice, so to speak. Yeah. Great, great, great. I keep on working and I see you soon. Disclaimer, uh, this is gonna be a very boring video. <laughs> so <laughs> if you like down picking, maybe it's gonna be fun. But it's gonna be a lot of work and just me practicing. So now you know.